Welcome to Makerspace URI's Cookie Cutter Workshop. This is the first in a three-part video series on how to create all of the objects that you see here. This video will focus specifically on how to create the pattern rolling pin using Adobe Illustrator and the rotary attachment for our laser cutter. So let's get started. You will see in the bottom corner the pattern I'm going to create. I will be creating it using the three larger shapes that you see on the right, along with some created elements using the shape toolbar. To start, click on the shape toolbar and select the rectangle tool. We will be using this to create the thick lines between our patterns by clicking and dragging to our desired length. Next, we will use the selection tool to drag and drop our first element into place. We are also going to add these circular elements here by returning to the shape toolbar and selecting the ellipse tool. We can then click and drag to our desired size, all while holding the shift button to keep it within proportion. You can use the selection button to reposition the object or use the arrows on your keyboard. Next, mark key around all the objects that you want to duplicate. And if you're using a PC, hold down Alt plus Shift, or if you're using a Mac, Option plus Shift, and drag your object to duplicate it. Immediately after this, you can click Ctrl D or on a Mac, Command D to duplicate the last option as many times as you'd like. Delete any excess elements, and then using Alt plus Shift, you can duplicate your line. Now we are ready to work on our next line. Select your next element and move it into position. For the deer, we will scale it down to a slightly smaller size by grabbing the corner of the bounding box and dragging it to a smaller proportion. We will then reflect this object by going up to Object, Transform, and selecting Reflect. We will be reflecting it across the vertical axis. Click on Preview to see what it's going to do and then copy to get a duplicate. We will then move this copy into position. You can then make adjustments as needed, including adding another set of trees so that we can duplicate this pattern. At this point, we can again marquee around the objects that we want to duplicate and holding Alt plus Shift, create a duplicate of that pattern. At this point, with some minor adjustments and continued duplicating, our pattern will be ready to go. Once we are satisfied with our pattern, the last thing we want to do is scale it to an appropriate size for the object that we are trying to engrave. In the case of an object that is cylindrical, that would be the length of it as well as the circumference. With your file now complete, you are ready to move to the laser cutter, where a staff member will show you how to set up the rotary attachment.